Welcome to the Asphalt Video Store. Today is another mail lock video. Oh, recently I got two packages. One just came out, out today through the mailbox and all that. I got two packages, one from eBay and the other from the Criterion Collection, which I'm hoping it is. Is which I got from the Criterion 24 hour flash sale they recently had back in February. But in case, so yeah, let's start with smallest to biggest and without procrastination, let's begin. First off, we got this small little one here from eBay. Of course, as you see, when I try to rip off the label here, it kind of got a bit ripped here. So, yeah, in any case. So, let's open it and see what's inside of here. This is an unorthodox, oh, I see it. An unorthodox way to opening stuff. Alright, what's what do you got here? You got a receive. Let me just check it. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. The case is very good condition. Uh, all right. Just mentioned some things about the the order details and the DVD. I got the guy just put his email letters there. Service First Media strives to ooh, each and every customer 100% satisfied with their purchase. For any reason you are not 100%, please email us at and the email and all that. Uh, we will guaranteed. So what's here? All right, let's reveal it to everybody here who who uh, who is left watching this channel because I checked my analytics and the viewership is slowly lowering down by bit. Yes, it's in. Uh, it's a DVD. But what is the DVD? It's a two movie collection DVD from Retro Media. That's an interesting name. Aim of two of two movies, which is Return of the Giant Monsters, which I'm presuming it's Gamma versus is one of the Gamma films, but uh, unfortunately I forgot. Then and it's the Magic Serpent from 1966. Yeah, so basically, the reason I got this is just for the movie The Magic Serpent itself. Oh, because I've been interested in watching the movie, but this is so far the only English release is this DVD in here. Oh, wow, that's a pretty clean DVD here. There are no scratch there, here and there. In any case, let me just put this back comfortably here. So this DVD seems to be from 2004. I wonder if it features anything. Ink. So basically, I think both of these movies are in are in four by three aspect ratio. Oh, because this is the only the release of the Magic Serpent I have seen in elsewhere and all that in the United States that you don't have to get a like a Japanese laser disc or a Japanese home video release of. In any case, so yeah, I'm pretty interested in watching this film. It's it's only the English dub. I think it's the Titan English dub. There is a second one, which some audio clips are mixed with the French dub uh, of the film. Um, the only thing is that nobody can seem to find it. But there is a rumor that a Indonesian or like some foreign language VHS tape actually has the English dub for some reason. We have the image of the VHS tape, but nobody seems to have a copy of it. So we could go, so we could like pop it in the VCR and check. Hey. There it is. In any case, I'm not, I think there is a VHS release with the Magic Server because I've seen an image before. I'm not going to say if this is true, but I think there was a VHS release in the United States. But I haven't checked on that yet. What do you even call this? Look, it says it's not like two movie pack or monster movie pack or anything. It's just Gamera, Return of the Giant Monsters, and the Magic Serpent. So do you just call this DVD Gamera? In any case. So yeah. yeah this will be interesting. He actually you know it's funny he, he from I heard from WikiZilla, I'm not sure if this fact is true, is that they added sound effects to the to the magic serpent and all that in order to enhance it a bit. In case, so the magic serpent. Overall this DVD is in pretty good condition. And it has this uh, dirt texture right here, like like this level of dust in the spine. So yeah, six giant monsters, two outrageous movies on one 
mega DVD. Oh my gosh, it's a, a dual format DVD. Dual layer format. Yes, they actually got a dual layer format. Yeah, in any case. So yeah, this will be an interesting film to watch. Let me just put it somewhere right here in my little stand. Next is this package here, which is from the Criterion Flash Cell. I want to show all you guys uh, what I have received within this flash cell itself. In case, oh, what's here? Uh, some receive. This is basically like saying like, oh, returns and all that. Like, if you want to return this, nah, it will be fine. In case. All right, what's in here? I already see the DVDs. Funny enough, when I opened this, the corner right here was a bit open, but I'm not sure if it was caused by the mailman or the DVD, or by the actual thing, or the shipment of it. Try and do like one of those reveals. All right. Try like get all three of them out at the same time. Oh no! Alright, got them all out. But there is a problem I notice. Alright, let's show it to everybody. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I got three of the Criterion and DVD, two DVDs and one Blu ray from the Criterion sales law. And first off, let's look at this one. I'm not, let's just go with spine number order. Uh, the most dangerous game on DVD. As you see, he, this movie is directed by Ernest B. Shosak. And the reason I got this is because I, I'm really interested in watching this movie. Because from what I heard from watching King Kong 1933, the documentary of the film itself, is that while they were making King Kong, they were also making this movie. And they were using several of the props and all that. And also some of the sets they built. In any case, unfortunately he seems to have gotten damaged through the mail, as you see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was like thinking, what's that sound when I was shaking the package and I go, oh, that's the sound. In any case, so I'm not sure they damaged it while trying to put in the there. Because I was suspecting that the Criterion Collection might put in a box. Then... Put it on one second. Then put it in this. So yeah. So this is one of the earlier Criterion DVDs, spine number forty six. For an odd reason, it doesn't have that much bonus features. Only has an audio com com commentary with film historian Bruce Eder, and subtitles for death <laughs> for deaf and hearing impaired. The new digital transfer was created from a thirty five millimeter. Film composite. Here's the thing, I never knew that the Criterion Collection has like any of their older DVDs. This is from the first print is like this says to be the first printing. It says here copyright 1999. First printing 1999 and all that. Uh, so so yeah, I'm pretty surprised they actually had this. Is you know, and still in stock and all that because usually the older titles will get out print and all that. Uh, and for some reason, they still had this, you know. In any case, the world of cinema is the best cinema. Well, not really. This movie was made in the United States. Hey, it's proud to present the DVD premiere of the most dangerous game in a new digital transfer. Now, that's interesting. In any case, so about the. DVD, the damaged DVD case here. I am most likely going to get a replacement for it because I don't want to deal with the hassle of trying to return this DVD and all that. To be honest, the most things I buy I never really return. Or mainly because they don't come damaged. In any case. Alright, so what's the next spine number? Alright. So spine number 432. 432. Appreciateism. So yeah, I got this movie right here, here from I believe 1960, 1966 as you see. Pretty cool. Even though it kind of looks like a DVD, a Blu-ray, it's it's a DVD release. They don't have a Blu-ray copy of this movie, and of course, 
disc made in Mexico. Actually, I have a I have a thing. I was like thinking, how like when when anything that says made in China where it has like the English text on it, I was like, how do the people in China think in making products for other countries if they could actually understand it? Like if they realize there's a printing error with the R of of anything. In any case, so this film of the from the Criteria Collection. The reason I got this was because uh, was when I was like looking for movies for this year to like review and all that, I would look through the Criterion Collection and see what years they have. But this film popped up up during my research and all that. And I read its history and it has a very interesting history to it. And the the film will be interesting to watch and all that. Playwright and novelist is Yuki Mishima uh, forced out his own violent suicide with these ravishing short feature. Oh well. His only four way into filmmaking yet made a expressive and confidence of a true cinema artist. Uh, so from the history I heard from this movie is that in 1970 all prints of this movie were destroyed or like like there was like an order of like all of them being destroyed but that was until like the Criterion Collection like got the original oh like negatives it or some film part of the movie to actually restore it from and the film is only like 29 minutes long and it has this and it looks cool oh with it, it seems to have this booklet in case next this one the guy the touch of zen as you see here which is a Taiwanese movie and of course there's the blu-ray special edition logo and of course disc made in Mexico in case with a 4K digital restoration, I this film was like from 19. Uh, trying to tell because I can't see that much lighting because it's coming towards me. So it's from 1971. Uh, yes, 1971. The reason I got this is because it's like a martial arts film and all that. And it looks pretty cool and all. Oh, and also plan to review this later on in a little course through my research of films to review. This caught my eye and I watched the trailer. I was like, yeah, I gotta watch this movie, you know. In any case, so that is everything that I got throughout this Mel Lock video, as you see here. About the Criterion set, yeah, these are three movies I'm pretty excited to watch. Them. I, uh, definitely the most dangerous game. And the patronism will be a good movie to watch out curiosity and this will probably be a great movie to watch. In case, but part of these films are pretty good to watch and all that. In case. So yeah, that's everything that I, that I got so far right here. Which is pretty cool and all that. Alright, oops. So it's pretty cool to get all of this, you know. The flash show was like 50%, everything was 50% off and all that. In any case, so yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool lot. So that's all the video. Have a nice day and later on, come back to our video store.